As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This quote encapsulates the essence of Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes the importance of maintaining a calm and rational mindset in the face of adversity. In this video, we will explore some Stoic principles that can help you cultivate this mindset and remain calm and centered in the face of challenges. The first principle is to transform everyone into a teacher. This principle can help you cultivate a growth mindset and remain open to new ideas and perspectives. When you approach every person and situation as an opportunity to learn something new, you create a mindset of curiosity and openness that can help you grow and improve in all areas of your life. One of the key benefits of this principle is that it can help you avoid getting caught up in negative emotions like frustration or anger. When you encounter someone who disagrees with you or has a different perspective, it can be easy to become defensive or dismissive, but by approaching them as a teacher, you can shift your focus from being right to learning something new. This can help you remain calm and centered, even in the face of disagreement or conflict. Another benefit of this principle is that it can help you develop empathy and understanding for others. When you approach every person as a teacher, you are essentially saying that everyone has something to teach you. This can help you see the world from their perspective and develop a deeper understanding of their experiences and motivations. By doing this, you can build stronger relationships and become a more compassionate and empathetic person. The second principle is to say no to the easy way and seek out challenges. When you embrace difficult tasks and situations, you are essentially saying that you are willing to push yourself beyond your comfort zone and test your limits. This can be uncomfortable and even scary at times, but it is also incredibly rewarding. One of the key benefits of this principle is that it can help you develop resilience and strength in the face of adversity. When you challenge yourself, you are essentially building up your mental and emotional muscles. This can help you remain calm and centered in the face of difficult situations and bounce back more quickly from setbacks and failures. With this principle, you can develop a sense of purpose and meaning in your life. When you take on difficult challenges, you are essentially saying that you are willing to work hard and sacrifice in order to achieve something meaningful. This can help you feel more fulfilled and satisfied with your life and give you a sense of purpose and direction. The third principle is to be strict with yourself but tolerant of others. By doing so, you cultivate inner peace and avoid negative emotions. By holding yourself to high standards of behavior and discipline, you can feel more in control of your actions and emotions and gain a sense of purpose and direction. However, it's also important to be tolerant of others who may not share your values or beliefs. This means avoiding harsh judgments or negative emotions towards them, which can only give away your power and lead to inner turmoil. By being tolerant of their perspectives and experiences, you can build stronger relationships and become a more compassionate and empathetic person. Additionally, being strict with yourself but tolerant of others can help you avoid negative self-talk or self-judgment, which can undermine your self-esteem and motivation. The final principle is to remember that the obstacle is the path. It means that you should not view challenges as obstacles to be avoided, but rather as opportunities for growth and learning. When faced with a difficult situation, it's natural to feel frustrated, anxious, or overwhelmed. However, by embracing the challenge and seeing it as an opportunity for growth, you can shift your mindset and approach the situation with a more positive and proactive attitude. One way to apply this principle is to focus on the process rather than the outcome. Instead of fixating on the end result, focus on the steps you need to take to overcome the challenge. By breaking the challenge down into smaller, manageable steps, you can make progress and build momentum, which can help you stay motivated and focused. Another way to apply this principle is to reframe the challenge as an opportunity for growth and learning. Instead of seeing the challenge as a setback or failure, view it as a chance to develop new skills, gain new insights, or overcome a personal limitation. By reframing the challenge in this way, you can turn a negative experience into a positive one and emerge stronger and more resilient. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this, and don't forget to take action and apply these principles in your own life. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.